Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Um, so, things to do today. Go turn in that one quest, get this done, get a hunting lodge. I would like to recruit some people for a hunter, but I want to build these buildings first so that I can get bigger houses. And I need water. Holy cow, I need water. But... Yeah, lots to do. I'm hoping to get as much done of it as I can. So, let's get this party started. The biggest thing I want to do with the hunting lodge is get the bow and arrow going. Because carrying around wooden spears that are just cheap to make but do like absolutely no damage and are really, really heavy is getting a bit much. So, if I can carry the bow around and maybe like craft a stone spear... And have that just for like a melee, melee situation or melee. However you want to call it. However you want to say it. But I need to find Unigost because he does have... Are you him? Oh no. Um, what do you have on you? Oh, you got fertilizer. Okay, yeah. So here's something that I know of. Is in the next patch that's coming out. It's, it's like beta now or alpha. I mean the game's alpha or beta or whatever but they're they've got a, a test realm for this game and i'm a little heartbroken because it's going to add the requirement for the farmers to have to use fertilizer and seeds now this version they don't have to use anything they just go out and do things so in my season two all right unigos where are you at dude um i had almost what 150 fertilizer that i crafted so i'm gonna have to get back into that same mentality now after i just gotten out of it and like yeah this is great this is super easy i don't have to worry about it and now i kind of have to worry about it um unigos where are you at man are you in here no you are carrots i think were winter and summer and spring and autumn so i can't do any of that Okay. And no. You know what? From a distance, you look like you had a beard. It was kind of weird. Oh, you got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, Unigost, where you at, bro? Ooh, wow. All right, you got some serious issues going on, dude. Oh. Possession is... Oh my gosh, look at your legs. Ah, what is wrong with here? Can you move a bit? There you go. I'll help you out. There you go, man. Whoa. That's kind of a creepy way. Now, I did cook everything up uh, last night before I saved. But as you can see, I am just ate eight of the chickens. All right, all these are work in progress. So the only thing I can do is crafting knowledge. Where is Unigost? The only way for me to find out where he's at is this. I am in this village, right? Yeah. Alright, that's not going to show up. Okay, dude, where are you at, man? I really need to get this going here. I can't dilly-dally for too long. Um... You're a decent farmer. But, I mean, I hate to say it, this whole farm thing now is really going to slow me down. Alright, maybe he's in here. There you are. Alright, dude. I think it's just one linen thread. Alright, so now I've got that for the bow. There isn't much more over here I can do. I could talk to that Alwyn guy and get that going, but... To be honest, I really want to start getting my... I need to get this turned in so that it doesn't fail on me. And then I've got to try and find another quest. But I would like to really go over here and see if there's any cool people. I mean, this is going to give me a bath too. And I'm sure I need one. It's been a, a while since I've bathed. But yeah, another cool thing that's involved with the quest... Or the, the update there is they're going to bring horses. 
into the game. Think about horses, that sounds amazing, but you need like 5,000 farming. And that in itself, all right, fishing. I really hate how this specter mode uses stamina like this. All right, Ingo, you're 20. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try because you're not one of the recruitables, so. All right, uh, let's see, do you have a minute? How have you been? Do you have a minute? I'm gonna tell you something, beautiful lady. You look as beautiful as this blue sky today. Uh, let's see, I wanna tell you something, beautiful lady. You look beautiful today. Uh, I'll tell you something, beautiful lady. Okay, well, Inga, because she's not one of the ones, and I don't think she's married, because I wouldn't be able to flirt, I don't think. But, Hunter, there is a Hunter here. Which would really, really help things. Uh, let's see. Do you have a minute? Nice weather. And do you have a minute? Recently got into hunting. Uh, do you have a minute? Just got back working in the field. And do you have a minute? Uh, hunting. Let's see, I'm creating a new sediment. Ooh, okay, I need more rep. Maybe now that's something that's changed. But, all right, anyways, I don't, there is a, no. I didn't see any quests here. Yeah, there are none, so I gotta run back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really, really wanna get these um, horses going. But, I mean, that's a ways away. The stable is 5,000 farming points. To buy a small horse, I think it's something like 5,000 coin, and mature adult horses, I think it's like 10,000 coin, and then you got to get the saddles, and I think riding lesson, which is part of the talent, one of the talents in here, I'm not sure where it's at, I know it's still a work in progress, so they're definitely coming along with something, and people were kind of wondering, well, that's kind of end game stuff. What could be done to make traveling easier until you get to that point? Because until you get to that point, you're running around everywhere. And what I was thinking they could do would be like, um, oh, that's right, there's fish in here. Can I get you with this? Probably not. Yeah, that's okay, that's cool. Um, but I was thinking like, um, kind of like a carriage system. You know, like, people are transporting goods from town to town constantly. So you might be able to hitch a ride with one of them. Or maybe an actual, I'm going to say taxi cab system, but something along those lines where it costs coins. And the downfall is it does take some time, but it's faster than running. Uh, but it's, it's just a simple little, hey, black screen, and then you get there, but time has passed. And I, I think that'd be a, a cool little way. and Because you don't want to pay all the time for something like that. And the further out you go, of course, the more coin it is. But, yeah, uh, just my ideas with it. And, and kind of what I think would be pretty cool. Woo! I'll tell you what, that is a run. All right, let's get this quest turned in. So, uh, here are the seeds. Dynasty wrap, dynasty wrap. Looks like I got some wheat grain seeds. All right, so build a hunting lodge, hunt fox and boar. That's cool, because I kind of need to do that. And there was a berry farm. Now, what's my building limit? Out of eight. All right, so I can build four more. I have 78 food. Field worker, he's not happy. I'm like, dude, I just upgraded your house. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have the things he needs to... That's something else I gotta look at, is if he even has the resources, because now it's not that patch, he should be able to plant things. But being this time of season, being summer, I don't know if he has everything. I don't know. So let's go find that out, and make sure he's just not sitting around doing nothing, because... He needs to do something. 
And the hunting lodge. Alright, there's deer. I don't need deer. I need fox and boars. The boars, I mean, there's three of them outside the town that's over here. The fox, there's, I think, one or two. How many spears do I have, first off? Let's see. Alright, six. <laughs> And I should have enough coin. That shouldn't be a problem. Problem is, one of the things is I was flirting with that lady and she's all the way over there. So that's kind of a far run. Sure we're going the right way. Yep. To go flirt every day. But I'm hoping once I built this hunting lodge, I can find somebody. I'd like to have two hunters. Or maybe one hunter and one berry picker. It uh, just depends, because I don't have much of a population now, so I don't need a lot of meat per hour. But, alright, there's nothing in those fields. Oh, you have failed me, dude. What have you been doing, man? Alright, so... What can grow... I kind of wish it told you here what could grow in the summer. I don't know, and that, that's something else that's kind of a frustration is it's hard to get any kind of information on these different seeds and when they can grow. All right, so yeah, this isn't the summer. I'm trying to think what can be done in the summer. Maybe carrots, maybe cabbage. I think I remember something about cabbage. So let's let's just try and see. Yeah, let's try cabbage. And see if he's gonna do something with that. He's gotta do something. If not, he's gonna be useless to me and I don't want that. Now this is, how much food does he have? All right, he's got more than enough. Oh, 13, it's not really a lot. All right, we're gonna put half in there. Free up some weight, because now I've gotta go. As for the hunting lodge, I mean, it was gonna be somewhere over here, but I would personally love I mean look at this you got three four deer over here and it's not too far out <laughs> but I wanted to keep the trees I don't know if trees affect that maybe a little further out for the hunting lodge maybe like right around here somewhere oh there's a Y scent oh that's beautiful okay uh, let's see. I've got six, and it's exactly six, so. Let's see how this goes. And the trick with them is if you throw the spear in their head, they kind of stutter. There we go. Now I don't know if your hunters can die. All right, I got all my spears back. Lots of meat, leather, and fur. Let's see, where's that? So yeah, like right around in here. I mean, look at all this game. So I, I could take down a few trees. I mean, I have to kind of run over here, but I mean, that's all right. That, that's not anything major. All right, come on. So what am I going to need for the hunting lodge? Not houses, not crafting, survival, all right. The thing is, is if I don't remove the stumps, the trees are just going to grow back. So it's not like I'm deforesting the forest.
one feather out of all of that. Yeah, like right around in here. So I need to go get that hammer and get this stuff started. Like I said, if I can get that bow and arrow going, man, it's gonna be hunting is gonna be a lot easier, and I'll get a lot more points in my hunting skill. So I don't have to sit there and then. Well, I do have to retrieve the arrows. All right, that's four percent. That's gonna break really, really soon. And what are you doing? Are you farming anything yet? Where are you even at? Hey there, buddy. Tell me something about yourself. Oh, okay, that's... All right, uh, do you have firewood? You got plenty of that. I think I'm gonna need straw. That's gonna hurt. I probably should have thought about that. on four. So that should be all the sticks. Oh, well, I might need one more, but I'll get that when I chop down more trees. Now I'm really, really gonna need feathers. Oh my gosh, so much game around here. I was afraid of that. Okay. Well, uh, it is going to be a long run. What's my weight to make sure? I mean, that's going to be enough for that. If I follow this down, I think it's to the right of the river. Right, go ahead and drink. Oh, boy. That's what I was afraid of. Straws and it's problem in this building area until I know if I get like I don't know if it's wheat or if it's rye 
but one of those is a by you get a byproduct when you um I don't know exactly it's the process when you do just harvest it from the farm I know you get straw from it as well but I don't know I don't remember which one that was but I'm not gonna lie this whole manure fertilizer thing here is really gonna mess things up but I think it's easier to feed chickens fertilizer I, I don't know I, I, I know it's still a work in progress um, so anything can change at any moment but that's definitely the concept that they're working for. And I was so happy when I found out you didn't need all that stuff and farming wasn't going to be that difficult. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm just really overthinking this game. It's really simple. But apparently not. Well, I say simple. I mean, the game itself is pretty simple. It just takes time to get everything established and set up. All right. Right, welcome back everyone yep so as you can tell it's the next day I grabbed a hundred straw and it was too dark to be able to see anything it's gonna be a little longer of an episode but that's all right because I want to get this done I don't want to have starting something and not finishing it in one episode I want to make sure things get done per episode um, as you just saw I found three foxes on the way down here and I went ahead and was able to kill them all which was great because that was I think like 18 or 19 meat and I've got all that cooked up so that's good to go uh, it looks like I'm just gonna need more logs and I think sticks for these side panels but what I would like to make after this hunting lodge is is get the bow going because without the bow I mean it, it seriously sucks carrying all these wooden spears when a lot of the times they break and they're, they're just they're a beginner. It's a beginning weapon. A beginner's weapon. And I don't need that. I need more advanced stuff. That being said, I need to get a bird trap going so I can start getting feathers instead of this chopping trees and getting one or two feathers per tree. Now, it's helped me get 50 plus feathers so that I can make the first stack of arrows. But, alright. Okay, so this is where they salt the... did not know that. Linen thread. I think that's what I got, right? It better be what I bought for 100 coin. Yeah, linen thread. Okay. So if I go here, management, or technology. Let's see, hunting lodge. So the bow, stack of arrows, bird trap. I don't need the campfire. So what do I need to craft the bow? I need one log. 
And I'm going to need the feathers as well, so I might as well go ahead and grab those. This dude, I don't know, I might keep him as a bookkeeper because I don't have anything to do the farming at the moment. Which is a really, really, really big shame. Here, we'll go ahead and put the straw... How many feathers? Uh, I have 13, so 37. And straw. Ooh, look at that. 49.99 out of 50. So, um, yep, that works out well. Alright, and you, buddy, I don't know what you're going to do today. I, I have no idea. Just take it easy, I guess, and do nothing. It's a shame you're not a good hunter, because I could definitely use some hunters. Alright, and we'll grab the one log from here. And the next thing I'd like to build is that workshop. Or not the workshop, but the that storage that has like 500 spots or 500 storage space all right so we're getting the bow i'm gonna craft the arrows i think i need stones though i mean it would make sense they are stone arrows i need 10 stones what's my weight um so that'd be 39 out of 50 yeah so Let's kind of go around, see if we can't find some stones. All right, two. I really, really wish I could do something with those stones. I want to search by this hunting lodge so I don't have to go very far back because as you can see I need two more stones and I'm starting to get heavy all right I don't want to pick that one up just yet I need 12 more sticks. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. I mean, this shouldn't be too bad. A bunch of little trees and stuff. Good thing is I'll be able to move after this. That'd be nice. All right. Stack of 50 stone arrows and with the bow. Oh, thank goodness. Now I'm going to keep all of my feathers in here. And bow, I'm going to put on two. And the stone arrows you have to equip. Alright, let's 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 just do a quick little, because i got to get the boars. So let's, um... So that I can get the boar and get this next part of the quest going. Let's see what he does. Maybe he stops close by. No. Alright, well let's head to the town up here. There's the three boars that are outside. And what am I... Not management, technology. 244 out of 250. I mean, I would like to get the wooden table... And maybe some chairs, because I do think they use those. I like how this is just so close by. Alright, boars. 
I got some arrows with your name on it. Watch them not be here. Nope, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna jinx myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, I totally jinxed myself. If that's the case, I am going to need to pick berries so that they do spoil so I can turn them into fertilizer. Or rot, and then from rot into fertilizer. Now, it does take 10 rot to make one fertilizer, so you need quite a bit of food to be able to do that. But I think one day out of this season, I need to go around and just get as many berries as I can because they are a food source as well. But yeah, not too much on the berry because I'm recording, so I, I try not to do a lot of that on camera or on YouTube, I'll say. All right, so there's still one person here. All right, and what are you? All right, uh, approval rating. Okay, uh, do you have a minute? All right, do you have a minute? Amazing robes, no. All right, whatever. And you, I think, oh, you're 15. All right, there isn't too much more I can do over here, unfortunately. The one person, that would have made a good bookkeeper. All right, my biggest thing, beetroot, I need to see what can grow when. Spring and autumn. Okay, summer and autumn. So let's buy 14 of those. Oh gosh, I'm heavy. Oh, what can I sell, dude? Because I am really, really heavy. I get some of my coin back. Now let's go see if this dude, because cabbage can be grown this season. Uh, unfortunately, the the boar are not there, so I'm gonna have to try to get him going. Maybe he, maybe it's somehow implemented. They need fertilizer and the seeds now. I, I'm hoping that's not the case, but it very well could be. And with fur and all that stuff. Okay, there's a boar. Now the boar are fast. I don't think they hit very hard. Alright, I hear him chasing me. Oh, he was. All right, so that's one down, two more to go. All right, yeah, that's not good. That fertilizer is heavy. All right, there's another boar. All right, there's two more. So there's the boar that I need. Unfortunately, I'm going to take some. Here, let's do this. I am hungry, and food weighs a lot. Oops. That's cool, dude. Just don't mind me. And I'm hoping to get more reputation and stuff out of this also. 
Let's see if I can get him in the head. Nice. Yeah, it'll slow him down. Alright. So now chapter 5 is a place of field, which I... That, that's not going to be difficult to do. And unfortunately... It's running. I hate trying to run when you're over encumbered. I, I don't know why I turn to the sides. It looks like it's a little faster. It feels like it's faster, so I, I don't know if it is or not, but... Yeah. And I don't have any more room. I need that storage warehouse. I really, really need that really bad. Because this is completely full. And unfortunately, I can't... I mean, I can't even put my first stuff in here, which I don't need on me. All right, let's go ahead and real quick. anything for my weight I can do the tavern now which is awesome but let's try and throw because he needs the barn for all these seeds and everything so let's put all the fertilizer I mean that's the biggest thing is I get rid of this fertilizer and these cabbage seeds let's see if he can work with that and Grain. All right, looks like that rabbit trap caught something. And as for the storage, it's going to go right over in this field. So I got to get the shovel. I got to well, let's place a field first, real quick. Let's get some water and get this part of the quest done. Let's see what's going to be next. Uh, wooden shovel. No, I've got all that in here. And if he doesn't do it, I mean, I'll go do it. this so that and that all right dear wolf Bear. Lots of stuff on that next part. Come on. There we go. That wasn't too difficult there, was it, buddy? Alright. Apparently it is. seriously doing um, do I have enough fur on leather on me I do so let's go ahead and craft the bag I'm gonna get that started cuz he's uh, taking his sweet time and I need some kind of food 
because I think with... Let's see, pottage, that's oat grain, rye, cabbage and meat can be cooked in the cauldron. Okay, and I've got that. So yeah, this would be my best step because I don't do the onions. I can't do the meat and gravy yet. And this is actually cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that. Stew or three carrots, two beetroots, and one onion. And yeah, one for one. So the ratio and stuff is really good. All right, and we'll get the bag equipped, which is simple bag. We're going to put that on seven. Uh, we'll put it on this field down here, I think, is the one I designated for it so fertilizer I'm doing your job for you man what's going on and then I'm hoping to have enough time but I don't think I will this episode to get that massive storage place built because I, I think that takes a ton of resources the bag and cabbage I mean this is helping towards my 5,000 points to get the horses eventually so why not I'm dirty yeah okay that's cool All right, so the cabbage is all good to go. Now let's go ahead. And see if he can make all these into cabbage as well. All right, so then I'm going to grab my shovel and we're going to start working on that we're, uh, storage warehouse. That's what I'm trying to think of. All right, we will do that. Let's go shower real quick. I would like to get a wife. Um, because I know it's extremely important if I die now I don't have anyone I don't have an heir so my dynasty would end and the game would be over granted I could just reload but my shovels over here put the hoe away and get the shovel and start getting all these taken down but yeah I, I think that warehouse is a massive project so that's definitely not gonna be finished this episode which is kind of a shame here I'll put you know what we're gonna put all of them in there all the berries get rid of as much weight as possible the one meat and I don't need that on me all right and the shovel we're gonna put on five So this should be a nice area. Yeah, it's 10 logs. Ugh, and that's just to get it started. 
Come on. Come on. I don't think... Alright, one more. Should probably work my way over to where I need to go. Since these trees and stuff are going to get cut down. No feathers. Alright, over in here. So, building, storages. Alright. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So, this is going to definitely take... I don't want to say the majority of next episode, but it's a very, very, very big project. But once it's up and done, it's going to look fantastic. And I'm hoping once I get this completed, I'll be able to upgrade my houses to the larger houses. And what I'll end up doing is building those, tearing down these, and then rebuilding these with larger houses so the dude doesn't go homeless. Me personally, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can go homeless. I'll just have a campfire. But with the NPCs, they're like, no, I don't have a home. I, mean, I need a home. No, you don't. No, you don't. Be a man. Live out in the woods. I mean, technically, I don't think they had homes when they were in the town waiting to be recruited. Alright, let's see. Let's check this. Simple house. Oh, yeah, okay, so. Alright, five hits did not give me the point five. So maybe I have to complete the wall? Now let's check on that. Let's, uh. I was trying to find the other. Oh, there it is, okay. There. All right. So now I've got the simple house. Wooden table and the stick fence. I like these stick fences, even though they take a lot more sticks. But, I mean, it's it's about aesthetics in this playthrough. And then the massive house, which I have never gotten. I mean, 7,500 points. That's no joke. And it looks like it gave me one point for completing the wall. But I wonder how I got half a point. I don't know. I do not know. So we're just going to chop down these trees for the remainder of the game. Or the episode. I would really, really like to get more cabbage grown. Because I am going to need a lot of it. Oh, my hammer's going to break here. I'll go ahead and craft another one. No feathers. much done as I can. Oh, sticks. Well, that's a new one. My axe is going to break, too. 
Wow, no feathers again? How many sticks are in this pile? Fifty-three? Where did that come from? Go ahead and use up all the sticks. winded so easily but granted he I mean he's doing this all by hand he doesn't have any tools or any cutters to drill out the center of this block to put the um, the handle so I gotta give him credit I mean he's doing really well for having no tools that worked out really well so I think these are just the logs yeah Oh, here we go. Here's a tree. It's already cut down. I didn't see that. I'll grab that and I'll eat that real quick. Get my health back. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this one. I don't know if I need the sticks. For the roof, I know it's gonna be straw. All right, two feathers. And that broke, so. This is kind of why I would like iron as well, so I don't have to go around picking up stones. That's a, I didn't realize that's 10 deer this quest wants me to do. That's a ton. That's a lot of work. I like it, though, because I'm all about the hunting quests. Definitely shaping up into a town. And go ahead and get rid of all the straw I mean I might be able to push through this and get this part done tonight since I have enough straw and that was going to be my Achilles heel so two sticks, but yeah, all the straw is done, so I just need logs. Lots of feathers. That's awesome. Here go. I said, if I can get this done, I mean, that's 
That's a lot done. Now, granted, this was two episodes, but I mean, I cut out a lot of the walking. Fantastic. I now have the storage. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Let me get rid of a lot of this stuff here. Fur, logs, sticks, straws, feathers and stuff I'm going to keep over there. So, very nice, but definitely <laughs> went a little overboard with the whole building aspect, but that's all right, because that's what this game's all about. It's the building, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have to end the episode here because it's gone on quite a while. Why is there... What are you doing up there? How did you get up there? Oh, for Pete's sake, is this why you're not working? It's because you're playing around. Yeah, so you haven't even fertilized this. Get down here and get to work, dude. I'm not paying you to do nothing. Granted, I don't think I'm paying you at all, so yeah, you can go do nothing. Uh, but that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end the episode here. So if you enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, thumbs down. And if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button down below for more daily content of Medieval Dynasty. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys and gals in the next one. Bye-bye.